Wells and Jennings share unbeaten 164 run opening stand. A youth came to the fore on day one in Southport's 21-year-old Lewis Goldsworthy with his maiden LV County Championship ton and 18-year-old James Rue with 70 on debut guided the visitors to 297 for five, a stronger position as they've enjoyed all season. Goldsworthy resumed his innings alongside Lewis Gregory, the all-rounder the man to fire Somerset to 300 with an early boundary off the bowling of Tom Bailey. The score had moved to 328 when Gregory departed, holding out for 42, caught in the deep by Morley off the bowling of Will Williams. Roloff van der Merwe looked in the mood for it, setting his stall out early as he carted Williams for six in an over that saw him plundered for 15. He'd be the man to bring up the 352, Bailey going for eight in the very next over. Goldsworthy had reached the end of the road though, out for 130, a memorable knock for the young man who'd given his side such a great platform. But the tail was starting to be exposed now, and Peter Siddle wouldn't last for long, out for five caught by Morley off the bowling of Wood, just two more wickets needed. They weren't easy to find though, Brooks now alongside van der Merwe, and the lower order pair were defiant late in the innings, 400 not far away with lunch just around the corner. Brooks took them to that mark with the last ball before the break, a single off Morley enough, Somerset smiling at lunch. Roloff van der Merwe was raising the bat soon enough, evasive action taken in the crowd as he went to his half century off 62 balls, the sixth that got him there, his third of the innings. He would eventually depart for 55, out bowled by Luke Wood, another excellent knock down the order by the combative Netherlands international, Somerset all out for 446. Lancashire had a tough task on their hands after an excellent showing with a bat from the visitors led by Lewis Goldsworthy's 130, with telling contributions from debutant Rue on 70 and the characteristic 55 from van der Merwe down the order. Williams led the attack with 3 for 85, but it had been hard graft. It was steady stuff from Wells and Jennings with a long road ahead for them in the match, and they took their time early in the innings. Wells was the first man to 50, scored off 95 balls, while Jennings was more patient. They ended in an unbeaten partnership of 164, a strong retort that may have made Somerset's first innings of 446 look a little under threat, and Lancashire will be more than confident that come the end of their innings, they'll be within touching distance, if not level, with their visitors.